Hello and welcome to another episode of Coffee Fusion. This week we're going to look at the Swan Examined. Hey guys, so it's been a while since we've done one of these and that is an examined video where we take a look at a pattern and have a good look at it and see how it's evolved and see a couple of different ways to pour it. Um, so let's get stuck into the Swan Examined. Now the first Swan Latte Art that I ever remember attempting was the uh, little switch up on the Rosetta. And for this pour, you start your Rosetta as normal and instead of um, when you get to the top pulling down through the center and cutting that Rosetta in half, you pull down to the side of it, push a little bulb in and swing around to pull that heart in which is the head of the swan. This is the most basic form of the swan pattern and it's a good way to get started but there are a couple of other ways to do it as well. One of the ways that people really like to pour swans is with a bit of a um, water ripple base and they call it a swan lake. So this was first created with a rosetta base as the water waves of the lake that the swan is on and then you do your swan pattern. But if you enjoy pouring tulips, you can also do the base of that pattern with a tulip. Another way people like to pour swans is with those uh, feathers stretched out. And so in order to do that, you need to pour two rosettas for the wings. And then once you've poured that second wing, all you do is push the bulb in and then sort of um, wrap around for the neck of the swan and then push in a heart again as the face of the swan. The great thing about the swan pattern is it's your first real latte art pattern that combines those bulb and rosetta style pours. So it's the kind of go-to pattern once you've finished learning your rosetta or your tulip to try and take it to the next level. And speaking of taking it to the next level, this is the trickiest swan pattern I want you to try. This is called swan reflection. And so with swan reflection, you create that base as normal and then you create your first swan and then you have to wrap that cup around, so invert the cup. And you wanna pour that second swan so that it um, mirrors the first swan. And so what it ends up looking like is that you've got a swan and then a reflection of the swan in the water underneath. This is a really good pattern to attempt and to learn because it amalgamates all those styles. You've got uh, rosettas going on, tulips going on, inversions going on. Um, a really good pattern to uh, get your skill level up. The great thing about this one is that you can kind of really get your own personal style into it. Um, Jibby Little pours really good swans. Um, Enzo, which is an atlatist, uh, he pours some really good stuff as well. Um, so you can really get your own style amalgamated into this pattern, which is what makes it great. So guys, if you haven't poured one yet, or perhaps you haven't poured a swan in a while, uh, pour one and then tag me on Instagram, it's at The Coffee Fusion, and I'll see how you're going with your swan pours. In other news guys, today I released the uh, newsletter for this month, the Coffee Fusion Journal. If you haven't subscribed to that, um, it's worth doing. It's only once in a month I send out an email, catches you up on all things, and if there's a promotion going on, I'll always chuck it in that email. And last week I talked about getting the word out and spreading the Coffee Fusion message, getting my coffee out there into the world. And so this month we're going to do a promotion to help that happen. So here's what's going on guys. If you order 500 grams or more of coffee this month, I'm going to put 100 grams extra in for you to give to a friend. I've kind of called this uh, the opposite of Fight Club promotion. Let's see if that sticks. So the whole point of this is enjoying coffee together. So by um, getting that extra 100 grams, you can give it to a friend. You guys can both taste the coffee, see what you think, have a bit of a chat about it, and it'll help to spread the word that Coffee Fusion is a thing that you guys should get behind if you love specialty coffee. So if your hopper is getting empty and you're thinking about placing an order anyway, now there's even more reason for you to do it. Make sure you grab 500 grams. You don't have to put in a promo code or anything. If I see an order for 500 grams or more, I'll automatically put that extra coffee in. And in case you were wondering if you wanted to grab a couple of different 250 gram bags, that's fine. Um, if I see an order for 500 grams total or more, 
I'll chuck that sample in. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have a pour that you'd like to see examined next, put it down in the comments below. Or if there's anything else you want to learn about coffee, chuck that down there as well, and I'll start creating those videos for you. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video and learned something, just give it a like, that really helps me. And if you know anyone who's learning about latte art at the moment, just flick this video their way. Thanks so much guys, and I'll see you on Thursday for another latte art compilation. say shit. There we go. That's better. Never look directly into the light. <laughs>